Is you, is you ready, nigga? No long intro today. We're here with possibly the longest corny bar segment I have ever gotten the displeasure of suffering through. So you don't have to. You're like coffee grounds on the bottoms where you settle. Besides being an oddly specific softball self-explained corny bar, it's extremely obvious filler. And yeah, that's super corny. All my lyrics coat like they've been laying in the snow. I hate all like bars. And this 5'3 Calvin Klein model wannabe thinks so little of his viewers, he has to remind you laying in the snow makes things cold. Duh. And I'm getting late, so I guess all my hoes is tropical. She suck me like a popsicle. I'm sick, I need a hospital. Again, the like bars are gonna be heavy in this video. By like bars, I mean like bars in simple comparison form. But before that, he says he's getting laid, so he guesses all his holes are tropical. Not only does that not make sense in any way, this is incel rap at its finest. He literally convinced no one he has hoes, bitches, or baddies in his vicinity. Then it's getting hot in here, just like the song by Nelly Boo. Anytime you have a bar that explains itself, corny. That shit was not smooth. You got no game, bro. Down bad. Xbox, baby, let's connect. You smoking like a cigarette. Xbox, baby, let's connect. We're smoking like a cigarette. Bro, well, I am convinced you get no hoes. Like none. You thought you was being slick, dude. You thought this was deep. You thought this was poetic, huh? This was ass. <laughs> Right. Cartoon niggas, welcome to Monster Inc. You washed up, get disposed, put them down the sink. Welcome to Monsters Inc. That was the setup to washing them in the sink. Literally, Monsters Inc. was irrelevantly used only for a rhyming diving board into a bowl of corny futuristic soup. This trash cocktail will be added into the corn-filled shit soup that is futuristic bars. Oh my god, don't ever do that shit to me again. We got chemistry like a beaker. Beakers got all the chemistry. Nothing is more chemically compound than a beaker. Futuristic is a cornball that uses filler bars as legitimate content, which is gross. Eating everything just like a fat kid with a bunch of snacks. All right, fat kids eat a lot. Fat shaming. Funny, but it's an obvious 50 cent knockoff bar of I love you like a fat kid loves cake bar. So it's like three thumbs down. Your bank account looks like a bunch of bagels. I might yeah, no. Trying to remix corny bars only make legendary corny bars, bro. Your account looks like a bunch of cookies. Zero. Hi, my name is Futuristic. My name is Futuristic. Said it twice in case you missed it. And I'm about my brain. Somebody get me a biscuit. I'm just another black guy who's got a really big dick. I put this entire chorus in here because it's entirely hard to sonically enjoy it, and it's a sad attempt at an Eminem High My Name Is remix, and the last line, which is the bar to cap off the world's crappiest remix attempt, he decides to make me believe less and less he gets hoes, and now I don't believe he's gifted. In fact, you probably got a little dick. I'm saying it. What? And you can bet on that like dog races. You are attempting your best hops and impression i can see you just jotting the lyrics down uh, thinking exactly how hobson would sound on the track and then just filling in the rhyming words sound it just came out sounding like a copy of a copy of a copy for example i need a bitch to send the kissing dog this is what happens when an unfunny beta male tries to be edgy it comes out as a big pile of fermenting corn sewage you need a bitch that's into kissing dogs. How incredibly fucking gross. Yeah, she can get picked like a flower. As you hear once again, it's simple like bar comparisons that holds absolutely no substance and is once again obvious filler used as content, which makes up most futuristic tracks, to be honest. Make them uncomfortable, like wearing a sweater in hot weather. Goddamn! Fun fact. Did you know wearing a sweater in hot weather makes someone uncomfortable? Just imagine Eminem rapping in 8 Mile. My flow makes you hot like wearing a sweater in the summer. Like, bro, that's like what it's equivalent to. That's, it's, it's like literally what that's equivalent to. Little rascal, I say, okay. 
Porky from Lil Rascal says Ote, explain to you, hand fed for his seemingly brain dead fans, he didn't even say he was a rascal, he just said Lil Rascal and name drop to make his obsolete bar seem not obsolete, failing to even be a little less cringe. You know, like I, I, maybe I'm going too high, I don't know. If she a Kit Kat bandit, I'ma break her off. She's not, she's not a Kit Kat. So guess what? You get no hoes. I knew it. I told you. He said it himself. Only if he got a candy bar will he break anything off. Reality really hit that boy. Yo, life is just like my little brother's room because that shit is a mess. Oh, oh my God. My life is like such a messy room. It's time to get my life together. It's time to clean this cluttered room of life I marinated in all my life. I don't, I don't know, know, what know what to do, with, know with, what myself do with myself anymore. Shut the fuck up, futuristic. Come on. Making money, do my duggy, cause it's funny, simple lot of tea with honey, make them jump like it's a bungee shit and all I need a huggy flow is cold. I need a snuggie, now my pockets getting chubby. All these women wanna touch me cause I'm cuter than a puppy, and it's like I want a lotto, cause I'm always getting lucky. Now she licking my banana like a motherfucking monkey. Nonsense. Absolute bullshit. Fast mumble rap. Rapping fast with zero percent content, all filler, all nonsense, and I'ma read it to you so you can see what I mean. Do my Dougie, cause it's funny. Sip a lot of tea with honey. Make them jump like it's a bungee. Shitting on them, need a huggy. Flow is cold, I need a snuggie. My pocket's getting chubby. All these women wanna touch me, cause I'm cuter than a puppy. And it's like I won the lotto, cause I'm always getting lucky. Now she's licking my banana like a little Couldn't walk in my shoes like you a skinny dude and I got fat feet. Talk about fucking filler. I wish I'd hear Disaster say this to an MC he's battling. Imagine Disaster. Yo, yo, check Shut it. the fuck up. You couldn't walk in my shoes like you're a skinny dude and I got fat feet. Like, no, you couldn't see Disaster rapping that to somebody, bro. And he said it as an insult. He a player, somebody go find his ass a jersey. <laughs> Go find his ass a jersey. You know, cuz sports, cuz athletes. Please stop rapping. It's corny to hear anyone say this almost like a pickup line for incel rappers. I'm not rocking with it. I'm not. Ventriloquist, pull out of strings. Okay. Ventriloquist, they don't use strings. This is such a rookie era, it's corny. I'm just saying, bro. I'm, I can't rock with this. I, I really can't get jiggy with this shit. Taking shots like a loaded gun. Loaded gun shoot. Stacking up my chips like I play poker. Aren't chips in poker? If so, how is this a metaphor of any kind? You're not stacking chips like playing poker. You're stacking chips while playing poker. There is no outside source to connect it as a simile unless chips is slang for money. And I just don't hear anyone say it unless it's in poker somehow. I don't know. Fuck me. I could be stupid. Even if I had a diaper, nobody could change me. I'm the shit. Dude, why would you have a diaper on at your age? And how would that make you the shit? Full of shit, yeah. But not the actual shit if you're comparing yourself to a grown man in a shitty diaper. I was flipping them up a give up call a bow vice. Lyrics go over their head like mo lice. What the fuck did you even say? And what the fuck you even talking about? You mumble rap garbage truck stop Stop sweetie quickly at me. It's giving me a headache. It's giving it's giving me a headache, bro. I meditated, never fabricated, concentrated on my occupation, gotta pay the conversation for the conversation dominated. Now they probably hating automated, hit the population with a complicated array of bangers. This is what going on rhyme zone and looking up the rhymes and near rhymes to make a squeaky high pitch fast filler nonsense corn dump he calls bars. It's amateurish, lackluster, and definitely not considered anything less than a toxic waste of corn riddle diarrhea that was a little harsh i'm they in my pockets like keys when i used to whip the civic this bar was decent until he over explained it why do us as listeners fucking care which kind of keys you have in your already made point it makes it abc and i cannot rock with it that's all i'm saying about it that's it a studio in my second crib for these niggas is shady i guess my house is slaughtered your house can't be slaughter you dipshit what you should have said in some way is house of slaughter but you didn't falling into the abyss of the mass of corn shit 
that you have created for yourself right now. Never play with yo-yos, I don't like no strings attached. Uh. The reason this is corny is you have to supply us with useless information irrelevant to the entire song to build a bar. Paper folded just like an origami. So, so what? Explain how that's a bar in any way. Stop it. Being Takashi 69, if she wants to 69, is super cringe. And again, quite obvious filler, which is futuristic rapping style. Yeah. Get a neck like a swan. Yeah. Swans don't get neck. They have neck. Due to your incomplete English, you turned an okay copy of many copies of the remix of Getting Neck Bars into a very rookie, virgin-esque sounding bar. Million views in an hour when it comes out. Bragging about money and all the women we fuck now. All futuristic songs, and I mean all, because I went through his entire catalog. He always talks about the very subject he is now ridiculing bigger and more influential artists than him that had a much faster blow up than someone rapping fast filler mumble rap as long as he has which is understandable i guess had a nigga moving real slow like a turtle all these niggas running circles like a gerbil do i really have to explain why this is corny if i do i'm sorry for you and your playlist but i know my subscribers are smart enough to see why the corn is oozing from these two simple comparisons from buff midget monkey bars hang with me monkey bars hang with me because playgrounds. The flow is hot like cocoa. Futuristic again, hand feeding his fans bars because they're probably a 14 through 18 suburban fan base whose favorite rappers are Futuristic and Macklemore, and Futuristic is their edgy one. Rough like it's a derby. She cute though like a Furby. Rough like it's a derby. Listen, if he's talking about rough like revving an instrument, then I'll let it slide. But if he says R O U G H then that's stupid. But to the dumbest, single, most corniest, and cringiest, cringiest simple comparison, doo-doo ass doo-doo rhymes, not even calling it a bar, it's a rhyme, he thought was a Michael Jackson smooth line futuristic. I hope you are proud of yourself. Your girl get pulled light skin from a band-aid. Nothing that you say sticks like Pam Spray. Like, 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 how easy it would be to rap if all you had to say was something is like something on B and you too could be considered the greatest. Jumping on buildings like that old game rampage. How are you jumping on buildings and why? I need the answers to those two questions before I can even call this a corny bar. This is a corny ass rhyme, man. Come on, dude. You're better than this. You must not have anyone in your corner to be real with you. So I'm gonna be that guy for you. I, I have to. I can't let you go out like that, bro. I can't I can't let my another brother go out like that. Dax went out like that. Yeah, and I'm flyer than a damn plane. Your girl get pulled like a hamstring. <laughs> and for the sake of a rhyme and syllable, please insert the word damn before plane. Thus followed by the corny alley oop and did a slam dunk of incel rap, but giving us the most unconvincing line of pulling anyone's girl, which again makes me believe less you get any kid, like on the regular, regular. Girl get shows like a first round draft pick. Uh I stand corrected, and I'm completely sure now you have a hard time getting laid. I'm asking you faggot dudes to a few moments later. I've been ridiculed for sounding gay. Your bars are hardly straight, you party lame, mixed with mediocre in a garbage way. Even with it being the worst ever attempt at an ill mind Hobson impression, I mean, this whole song, go listen, it's called DFOB, I guess. It was some kind of contest rap. He definitely didn't win. He literally is mimicking ill mind era Hobson. Then, the bar he just said toward other people, let's not forget, ridiculing gays by saying the word it as a derogatory term to someone used for belittlement to straight people because somehow being gay became synonym to inferior and then not even a minute later you cry about the same ridicule you were doing futuristic is what we call god level corny huh? what's this this energy is still growing <laughs> Transforming. Where did he get this kind of corn? How do you think like a quarter body? A superman shouldn't stand this shit. Uh, would you love me if I'm not this rich? Uh, would you help me if my whole world flipped? Uh, could you show me where the old love sits? Uh,
Don't tell her who the fuck I is. Uh.